page 12 of your sample assessment, the Gray's Office Stores, task 12. It says refer to the following bank statement using the accounting software and the transactions you've already posted. A. Enter any additional items on the bank statement that you have not yet recorded into the accounting software. Ignore VAT of these transactions. Save the necessary bank state reconciliation screen as you'll need to provide this as evidence. So we need to take a screenshot. Reconcile the bank statement. If the bank statement does not reconcile, check your work and make the necessary corrections. So we're dealing with the bank statement, so we must be in bank and we'll click on reconcile. When you're doing reconcile, leave this alone, but on the exam date, put in the month and the year and the date. Here, we'll put in the end balance of our bank statement, which is 21263.79, and then we just click OK. Now, what you'll get is the reconciliation screen. Just make that bigger. If you can't see everything, move your mouse between or above heading here and scroll down so you can see everything that you need. Now, what you should see is your opening balance here should be the same as your opening balance on your bank statement. And we're going to bring everything down in line with the bank statement. So the first one is £600. I could click on it and click match, which will bring it down. Or I could just double click. Choice is yours. We're now looking for 425566, which is this one here. So I'll double click. Then 132011, which is here, double click. Then 3854, which is there, double click. 622595, which is in relation to wages. Now I've only got 6,200, but if you remember rightly, we also had a corrections in our journals for wages. So I'm gonna double click that, and I'm gonna double click the correction. And you'll see that my balance should be the same as the statement 1394809, oh which means I'm doing all right so far. 142565, there it is. 361422, double click. Then it's saying electricity 101. Now I haven't got that. That's because I didn't do any transactions from there. So it's money out. And it's a payment, so I'm going to click on bank payment up here. When you do it in your exam, you will see an adjustment button on the right hand side. But for while we're practicing, we'll use the bank payment screen. It's via the bank, so we'll do 1200. It is on the 27th, so we'll do 27th. The reference, I would just say direct debit 01, because it's my first direct debit. And now I'll need to find my nominal code for electricity. If you've written it on your piece of paper, you'll be able to find it a lot quicker. As I haven't, I'll have to find it. Leave department, leave project, leave cost code. In the details, I'm going to write DD space electricity. And then the amount is 101. Remember it said no tax. And then I'm gonna save that and close. And I should see the 101 there. And I'm gonna check my balance is the same as the statement, which it is. I've then got bank charges. Again, I don't have any bank charges up here. So it's a payment because it's money out. The date is 28th. The reference, I will just do BNK, CH, CHG01 for bank charge. Nominal code, I know that's bank charges. So if you don't know it, you could basically click on there, make it alphabetical and click B till you find bank charges. Or as you know, it's an expense, click seven. Here, I'm going to write bank charges. And the amount is £14. Again, no tax. And I'm going to save it. And close. 42116, I have got, so I'll double click that. 1265, double click that. 
1996, double click that, and 450. In your exams, you might have transactions still up here. Don't worry, as long as this balances with my bank statement, that's all we're checking. So I should see balance to balance to zero. Here, I need to take a screenshot, so I'll press print screen. I'll go back to Word, open up a new one. And I'll paste. And then I'll need to go to page 13 to see how it should be saved. So file, save as. And in my screenshot, it's evidence six. My name, my AAT number and save. Making sure that it's in the same folder. When I'm done, I can then close that down. And I can click on reconcile. That means I've reconciled the whole bank statement. Once I've done that, there we have it. Task 12 is now complete.